I did have somebody drive through my front lawn just the other day. So I'm gonna show you how to fix places like this, ruts in your lawn, dips in your lawn, easy with just a few tools to help prevent scalping and have a nice even mow in your lawn. So I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but I have a distinct area where somebody in a large truck drove right through here and put about a two inch or so dip down in from the other spots of the lawn. Don't mind the weeds. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna fix this to uh, make it nice and level again. Now I'm also gonna show you a couple other spots. I have some significant leveling issues here that I'm gonna do at another time where I'm gonna bring in a whole truckload of sand. But today, I'm gonna show you how to do it with sand that you can pick up from Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay, so let me show you the tools that you're gonna need for this job. Now, there's a handful of different tools that you can use. Some are better than others, but if you're just trying to be cheap, you can get away with just using a rake like this. Chances are you probably already have a rake like this. It's not gonna give you a perfect level, but it's gonna get you level enough for most of you. The next step up would be something like this, a landscape rake. This is going to have this nice flat blade across the back that'll be able to provide a pretty good level. I have leveled using just this for an entire lawn before and been pretty happy with the results. Now last but certainly not least is a leveling rake, something like this. I purchased this one on R&R Products, but they make different ones and you can get them on places like Amazon. Um, I've seen them on other places like Lansy sells them. Ryan Knorr actually has a leveling rake, I believe he sells on his website. Um, but a leveling rake is going to do the best job of leveling because it's made for it. So the way a leveling rake works is you push and pull and it drops the sand in the low spots and pulls the sand across the high spots thus creating a level surface. Do this enough anymore. Now that I've shown you the tools that I'm gonna to use to level my lawn, let's talk about what I'm gonna to use to level the lawn. And, you know, people are gonna tell you different things, right? Some people are gonna tell you level with uh, topsoil. Some people are gonna tell you level with compost. Some people are gonna tell you mix sand and compost together to level. So from my experience, what I've always used with great success is straight sand. Now, what kind of sand? It's, uh, it's called masonry sand or leveling sand or top dressing sand. It's known by many different names. What you really don't want is a super fine sand. Let me show you what I've got. All right, so what I have here is leveling sand. It's made by Sack Creek. You can pick it up at Home Depot. I like this sand because it's a coarse sand it's not too fine. It's not too fine, but it's going to have the nice leveling properties that once you get it down, it'll stay where you want it. So let me show you how I do it. Leveling with sand is really not difficult. Take your sand, spread it out over the area that needs to be level. Then you take your leveling rake and you spread it out. It's really as simple as that, you know. As you can see, there's a spot there in the middle where it is way heavier, and that's the low spot. It's really not that hard, it's not that difficult. And after a couple of days, the grass will grow through this, 
and you'll never know that you did this. If you are leveling cool season grass, Kentucky bluegrass, perennial rye, turf type tall fescue, anything like that, if you are leveling those, you are not going to be able to put as thick of a layer of sand as I did right here. What you wanna do if you're leveling those is you wanna have some of the grass blades sticking up out of the sand. Now, ideally you wanna do that if you're doing Bermuda like I'm doing as well, but with Bermuda, you have the added benefit of Bermuda being the alpha grass. Bermuda is going to push through this sand even if you have a thick layer of sand covering it. Now, you still wanna do it to where you've got grass blades sticking out if at all possible. But what I have here are some areas that are really deep. So I'm gonna show you guys over the next few days how the grass recovers from this so you can see it for yourself. So after you guys have put down the sand, gotten it to its final level for what you're gonna do with it, turn your sprinklers on, let them run over the area that you just leveled. That way the sand finds its final level. It's gonna, it's gonna level a little bit, it's gonna settle down a little bit more from what you did, but this is gonna allow you to see where it's finally gonna end up settling to. Now, when you're leveling, you're gonna have to do it a couple of times to get it perfect. That being said, you don't have to get it perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. So doing this is gonna make it to where I'm a lot smoother than what it was. I'm gonna have to do it another time or two to get it perfect, but this is gonna help a lot. Hey guys, that's it. Really not that difficult. If you have the right tools, it makes it nice and easy. That's all I've got for today. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, please leave them down below. If you liked what I did, make sure you hit the like button. Thanks for watching. I love you and I will see you next time.